Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you a few twin needle tips on the fit pants from Mama Can Do It and how to create a side seam pocket hack on the coffee and tea cardigan from Anne Elaine Patterns. Let's get started with the fit pants. Twin needles are a great way to create professional looking top stitching and hemming for an affordable price. You just put simply put the needle in your machine and thread it using two spools of thread and your normal bobbin thread. On the bottom of it, it creates a zigzag stitch and on the top, it looks like two um, rows of stitches running across. Twin needles can be kind of hard to figure out how to not get tunneling though. Luckily, I've learned a couple tips along the way that I'm going to share with you today. Let's get started. The first tip for twin needles I have for you is to use a two millimeter wide twin needle. This can pre help prevent tunneling. When there's more space between the needles, it's easier for the threads to tunnel. Twin needles come in two millimeter or four millimeter sizes. Here's what a four millimeter looks like, so you can compare. The two millimeter is in my sewing machine right now and I'm holding the four millimeter. When using my twin needle, I like to set my stitch length at four. Sometimes I can set it at, leave it at three, my normal stitch length, if I'm using the two millimeter. But if I'm using the four millimeter, I always have to set it at four. I like to have my tension anywhere from seven to nine for twin needling. It depends on what type of fabric you're using. Usually when I'm using more stable fabrics, I only have to have a seven or sometimes even a six. But when I'm using more loose and drapey fabrics like rayon spandex or double brushed poly or even single brushed poly, I like to have an 8 or sometimes a 9, but I don't use 9 very often. Another thing I found when using a twin needle is don't stretch your fabric while you're sewing it. At first I thought this helped create, not create tunneling, but I was wrong. I hope those little tips and tricks I gave you for twin needles will help you to prevent tunneling. Next. Let's move into the side seam pocket hack for the coffee and tea cardigan by Anna Lane Patterns. For your actual pocket pattern piece, you're going to need to find any side seam pocket pattern piece. Any of them will work. Just find one that you like and cut four of them. Again, you're going to want to cut four of them have your pattern pieces cut out for the coffee and tea cardigan you're going to want to hold up your front pocket your front pattern piece and align the sh where the shoulder is to your shoulder then you're going to use a marking pen pencil chalking whatever you use to mark on your patterns and you're going to mark where you would like your pocket to be approximately. I'm just going to mark it right there. This really is kind of a guessing game and personal preference. So you choose where you want, mark where you want your pocket to be on the front pattern piece. Then you're going to take your back pattern piece for this version, I'm making the short T version. Align the shoulder seams on them. So they're all lined up. And mark on your back. See here, there's my little mark on my front pattern piece. Now I'm going to make the same mark on my back pattern piece in the same spot so that our pockets align. All right, now that we have all of our pieces cut out, our fabric cut out, you're going to get one of your, you're going to line up your pattern piece onto its corresponding piece of fabric. Then you're going to take one of your pocket pieces and line this, line it up, right sides together. Remember you marked the bottom of where you wanted your pocket to be before. 
and now you're going to line up, mark that on your the fabric that you cut out. Make sure I got it lined up straight. And you're going to mark that. Once you marked on your fabric where you wanted the bottom of your pocket to go, you're going to go ahead and place your pocket onto your fabric, right sides together. Then you're going to sew along here on the side seam. Repeat that for your other front side and for your back pattern and for both sides of your back. After you've sewn your shoulder seams and attached your sleeves as directed in the coffee and tea tutorial, we're going to just sew the side seams. Sew the side seams as normal here along the sleeve and down here. And when, but when you get to the pocket, you're going to just simply sew here around the pocket and then back down to the end. If you're using a serger, use your sewing machine from here to here to create a nice crisp corner. Then you can use your serger on the rest of Once it. Once you've added your bands as directed in the tutorial, if you'd like, you can top stitch down your pocket so that it doesn't flap around outside of your cardigan. This can happen sometimes because the pockets are pretty big, which is nice because they hold more stuff then. But then they, you see them around here outside of your pocket. Top, simply just top stitching down about halfway around or a little bit more it, um, helps prevent that problem. Your coffee and tea cardigan by Anna Lane Patterns and your fit pants from Mama Can Do It should now be complete. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye!